guys the fish guy here in this video I'm gonna show you that I got new fish so you know that last week I got uh, two pairs of uh, molly fish and two pairs of guppy fish I got new beta fish and now it's time to increase my fish population in the big pond so I got a couple of molly I mean the koi fish and uh, a couple of uh, the blue convent fish that's what I call so that basically looks like the blue wormy fish with no spots in it but just gradient patterns here's a new pair of the koi fish and the blue convent fish if i'm not wrong it's spelled convent this probably looks like gourmet fish to me there are kinds of gourmies the three spot gourmies the kissing gourmies and this is called the blue convent so it is this something different about it so the blue convent fish has a gradients of blue to pink or blue to green blue to yellow and these are different types of fish that they've got uh, as far as I've seen these are different kinds of fish that I saw right there there might be different colors out there might be much better the scales are extremely different there are a lot of scales um, I don't know how the body fin is I've not touched them in physical uh, I just got them in the net uh, apart from that they've got a tiny little cute body so the streamline is extremely good I think they're fast swimmers apart from that the, the koi fish they are basic butterfly koi fish not the Japanese ones these are Indian koi carps so let's uh, un unbox the fish and acclimate them so here's the acclimation process during the acclimation I also medicate my fish when you buy fish from the aqua stores or whatever I don't directly add the same water I acclimate them first and then remove the fish from that water place it in a new water add some medicine like the Mr. Boo or the Malachite Green uh, medicate them for at least 10 minutes just to make sure they don't carry any fungal microbes or whatever from the other shops so before we get to the pond I just wanted to tell you I updated my fish pond before without telling you guys so I found some charcoal that is uh, being sold near my house so I bought like a kilogram of them and I added to the filter so adding the coal is another process uh, it's just a small process but it took days for me uh, I'll make another video on how to add charcoal into your filters uh, we've already made uh, how to make a homemade filter now I just want I'll just make another video to show you uh, how to add charcoal into the filter so that it cleansifies the water much better. Wow. So these are the new fish that we bought. Now it's kind of acclimated. They're pretty active right now. I'm gonna deploy them into the pond. <laughs> 